Hi, I'm Adora, a content designer here at KiwiCo, and today we are building the mechanical mini golf crate. Are you ready to build your own golf course? Part A, make the putter. First, grab this wooden piece with an opening and stick four foam feet on the side without the KiwiCo logo. Then flip over so the logo is facing up. Next, take this wooden piece and add a nut here. Now attach the wooden piece here and twist in a bolt. Okay, take two flex clips and attach them here and here. And connect this wood piece to the flex clips here. Make sure the tab is facing this way. Slightly tilt this wood piece out of the way. Rotate the tab piece this way and press it down. Next, grab the pivot clip and thread one end of the blue cord through this hole here. All right, thread one end of the yellow cord through this hole. Okay, time for our first stop and check. Make sure the blue cord is at the top of the pivot clip and the yellow cord is on the side. Next, take the club and push it in here. Now, push the pivot clip onto the club. The pin on the bottom of the clip should face towards the wood piece. Next, take the yellow cord and thread its end through here. and thread the blue cord's end through here. Let's stop and check. Make sure the cords look like this. Awesome, let's try it out. Put the ball in the opening, then push down here hard and fast. Nice, you've built the putter. Part B, make the clapper. First, attach two corner clips to this wooden piece with five round holes. Now, connect one U-shaped wooden piece here. Make sure the opening is facing up. Repeat on the other side. All right, grab this wooden piece and attach two corner clips on both sides. Click this into place here. And now, time for another stop and check. Make sure there are no gaps between the pieces. Next, grab this plastic piece with the sticker side down. Take the green felt and stick it on top of the plastic piece. Now fold this top tab down. and fold these side tabs up. Next, get this piece with the KiwiCo logo facing up. Then insert the felt and plastic here. 
Now lift the plastic to peel its sticker off and stick it back down on the wood. Grab the hinge clip and attach it here. Be sure the pin faces this way. And add another hinge clip here. Next, place this piece here and the three holes should face out. Poke the pins into one side at a time, here and here. Rotate the build. Now take a bearing base and place a bearing inside. Then push the bearing base in these slots. Grab the hook and push it all the way through the bearing base. Now slot this wood piece in here. Rotate the build back around and place the cam here. Make sure there are no gaps. Next, connect an arm and a plastic strap like so. Let's stop and check. Make sure this piece is pushed all the way in. Then curve the strap like this and place the arm here. Okay, twist in a green bowl to secure the arm. Now fold the end of the strap. And slot it in here. Repeat steps 21 to 25 to finish the other side. Now attach your hands to your arms. Next, place the crank face here. Then push the crank through here. And place the O-ring here on this hook. Next, stretch one yellow band on both hooks. Now, turn the crank around 20 to 25 times or until the band is double twisted. Yay, you've built the clapper! Now, before moving forward, let's try it out. Roll ball up the ramp for a round of applause. What you've got here is called a chain reaction. In your clapper, the weight of the ball lowers the wooden floor down. That lowers the tab in the back, allowing the windmill to spin freely, which unwinds the rubber bands. Finally, the spinning hook moves the arms and the arms clap. Part C, build the obstacles. First, grab this rail obstacle piece and attach it to the piece with the hole. Poke in the tabs one at a time. Repeat this on the other side. And now you've got a bridge. Now find these pieces and set them sticker side down. Then poke these tabs down through these slots. Now 
Next, take this obstacle piece and start poking tabs into the slots one by one. Keep going until all the tabs are inserted. Repeat on the other side. Then pull the sides apart to make a spiral shape. Now peel and stick the spiral onto the obstacle base. Cool, you've now got a loop-de-loop -loop for your course. Okay, now that you've finished building, let's talk about setting up and playing with your mini golf course. First, I like to give my putters some wiggly eyes so that they can see the ball better. You're going to line up all your obstacles in front of your putter. First, the loop-de-loop, -loop, weight it down with a book, and then the bridge, and finally the clapper. Put the ball and see what happens. You'll probably have to adjust your obstacles a little bit to make sure your ball actually gets to the clapper. Just move my putter a little bit this way, adjust the clapper this way, and tweak the bridge just a little bit. And... Nice, and the fun doesn't stop there. Check out your crate cover for even more creative ways to modify your mini golf course. Now, if you run into trouble as you start to play, don't worry, I've got you. See, if your putter can't hit the ball or just won't swing at all, go back to part A, steps 10 through 11 to make sure that these cords are attached the right way. If your clapper won't clap, your band might be wound way too tight. Release it and crank it back and make sure it's only cranked 20 to 25 times. In addition, go back to part B, steps 8 through 12, to make sure your ramp is also installed correctly. To get your clapper working at its very best, be sure to check a few things. The hands are clipped all the way into the arms. The clips should be facing inwards. The crank should only be cranked 20 to 25 times because overwinding might break the band. Be sure the straps are pushed all the way into the arms. And finally, the clapper should be on a flat surface. This mini golf course works thanks to a lot of cool science, specifically the science of energy transfer. Every day you use energy to make things happen. Like when you walk down the sidewalk, your legs use energy. When you put on a backpack, your arms use energy. Even watching this video right now uses energy. But did you know that energy can move from one thing to another. That's what happens when you push down on the panel and you make the club swing. The energy moves from your hand, to the panel, to the club, to the ball. When energy moves like this, scientists call it energy transfer. Since energy can travel from object to object, you can use it to set up some neat chain reactions. That's how your mini golf course can work as one unit without the pieces touching. Isn't that incredible? Thanks so much for building with us today. If you like this and you want to see more, be sure to like and subscribe. This mini golf course works thanks to a lot of... Roll a ball up the ramp. Are you ready to put your... Put your way into...